Um, so I figured out Blue's Clues. I know why it wasn't working. <laughs> what? So you was in front of my computer, which I was, and I was trying to get it to go. Right. Well, that's why, because that feature isn't on computers yet. This go live together is still only on Got iOS. Got it. Yeah. Like, All right. Yeah. Well, I was in front of my computer. I was wondering. Computer. I was like, what's going on? I was starting to get angry. Right. No, I was get, I was trying to figure out, well, maybe if I just use the computer and do live traditionally, because I have the set, because I have access to the set. But I also but realize you're on your phone maybe, right now, right? What? You're on your phone right now, right? I am. But I'm also okay. plugging the phone into the mixer, so you have good audio, don't you? Well, well, check this out. Uh, I was also going to say this too. Isn't there a web browser, a web-based browser that you we can actually upload our chat into uh, into uh, uh, OBS? What do you mean upload the chat? Um, you can actually use your phone as a webcam. And, uh, oh, right. And, uh, yeah, I haven't yeah. tried that. I don't know. So, so in theory, we would just do the same thing instead of just being the webcam. We would just put our chat or our video chat in OBS mutually. Right. Yeah, I haven't tried it. We ought to experiment on it. And then we wouldn't have to go live together anymore. We would just, right. uh, or, or we would just go live together here, and then we would have it in our OBS. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Or, uh, or even better, because I know whoever the host is saves the video. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. So if we could just do, like, a Facebook chat from right. here on out and just... Uh, uh, put it in a web based browser and then add it to OBS. We can just both go live on our respective channels at the same time, Mom. Retain yeah, the chat. we ought to try that. Yeah, because that way we could have the same content and uh, still be two different videos on two different channels. And that way we're not taking turns. We could equally share the same content. Exactly. So, uh, that's something that we should work on here in a couple hours. Let's actually uh, let's do sure. our uh, let's uh, let's get down to the nitty gritty, down to business. Yeah. All right. So. I found a lot on eBay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I found several of them, actually. Um, actually, I'll pull up one of them. Um, a lot of five laptops, for example, of the same one that I'm on, the uh, yeah. 3340, the Latitude right. 3340. Um, and these lots are going for like $51 for five of them. Yeah. So we'll say like 10 bucks a piece. Let me uh, make my way over here to eBay. Dell Latitude. I bid. I'll show you what I bid on. All right. I will be completely honest. Um, I'm not too sure to see where my bids are. What? So you're on oh, eBay? Oh, I found, I found it. Yeah. You're on eBay. Yeah. Got it. Ooh, so I've already been outbid. I bid on two different lots. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna show you what they are. And then right. uh, after I show you what they are and what the prices are, um, I also wrote down the um, the hardware that the laptops need because you know some of them are missing batteries and hard drive. Right. Yeah. Been. And I outweigh the uh, the cost of fully upgrading them versus right. you know resale. Yeah, and we'll get to that. So let me show you the lots real quick. So I got outbid on the lot of five, which I might do another bid on that. I would probably go up to seventy five bucks. Right. And I'll show you. Why. I am winning the uh, twenty dollar lot of three. That that could be a big potential for. Um, a nice repair vlog as well as a repair and upgrade vlog as well as good resale value. Right. And then if we go here and actually I did this based on this lot of three. Bid. Two day hours left. So let's assume I win this bid and it ends up selling for 40 bucks. Okay. okay? So it's $40. Now, if I win it at 20 bucks, that's that's great, but you know, let's let's be realistic. So, let's say we win these three laptops for forty bucks, because right now I got them one for nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, and then for all three of the laptops, we'll say forty bucks.
60 gigabyte SSD, 60 bucks in SSD, and $36 in chargers. Yeah. So for a fully upgrade, and then don't forget, I still have uh, some crucial, uh, some uh, RAM here, as well as an additional 256 gigabyte right. SSD yeah. left over. So I can actually minimize some cost on this first first setup. Yeah. But after the RAM install and all that, we're looking at about 180 bucks to fully upgrade them. That's okay. what the cost will be. Versus we can sell them, or, or 180 for all three of them. You know what I mean? Okay. So for 180 bucks, we're going to have three souped up laptops I have right now. And then I'm going to be able to sell them for $175 a piece. That's what, 545 bucks, $345 yeah. profit? What's the, what generation of uh, CPU is it? It's still fourth gen. Right. It's literally my exact right. model. So are you going to uh, reinstall Windows on all of them so that when you sell them, they'll have an empty copy of Windows? Yeah, and actually, uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Right. If I've already pulled the trigger on the bid. Right. So I mean, if it happens, it happens. I'm gonna make it happen. Would you uh would you advise me to go ahead and buy a legit Windows no, key at this because point? Because those machines will qualify oh. for a free upgrade to ten. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So I'm good. So there. if they have Windows seven, they likely any Windows machine, Windows seven machine will qualify for a free copy of seven uh, ten. Well they don't have anything. They have uh in particular, the the one that I have, one of them is missing a battery. All three of them are missing hard drives, so there is no right. operating system at all. Right. Oh, okay. They, well, if you're gonna, so basically, what you're gonna want to do is you're not gonna have to pay labor for installing Windows, and the license won't be any cost because those things probably have Windows Seven keys on them, which automatically are a free qualification for ten. Okay, great. So you just do a full uh, OEM copy of 10 on that hardware and then put some entry-level uh, 500 gig SSD in there. Well, I could do the five. I mean, it would only be a few bucks more for five. The reason why I said 256 gigabyte oh, right. is yeah. for one. Oh, it's right. for one. They're only, they're only $20 a piece. Right, yeah. And they're what they're digital. Yeah, if you just want to make it a functional machine, that's fine. I mean, I tell my customers a terabyte or 500. I kind of figure... I I have the advantage of being able to figure out what my customers are going from because if they have an older computer, I got to already see what they have. Well, the niche I'm trying to serve here uh, is I'm trying to serve the um the the retro gamer, maybe not like Super Nintendo retro gamer, but like the uh original Xbox through the 360 series gamer, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh so I want to be able to serve that niche as well as those retro games, if that's what you want. But right. yet, it's still a good contender for online browsing and streaming, yeah. too. Because as you see, with my fourth generation Intel, with only 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 500, S a 500 gigabyte SSD, this thing, as far as a daily machine, is, is perfect. Now, it's not going to do anything crazy, as we, as we both know. It has its limitations, but right. it, it's definitely um, a good entry-level budget machine. Right. And uh, if I can get all those for that price and be able to sell them out at 175 bucks a piece, and I don't see me having a problem getting that at all. Right. Not only no. am I building a, uh, I'm, I'm building a good product, but I'm also selling it at an affordable price for the consumer while being right. able to make a few dollars myself. So. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you're not going to have to pay anyone to get it going. So that's really your biggest advantage. You're not going to have to eat the labor. You're going to be the labor just as a mechanic. I mean, we're both sort of in the same sort of yeah. work. You, so, uh, if I get this lot and I might do a couple of kind of gets a few under my belt, uh, you want to go going in on a pallet with me or something? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I would love to be like your investor. I'll give you some money towards you doing much of the work. Cause I hate well, you. Uh, that, yeah. There, yeah, that. that because that way you can get a bigger percentage of it, and I really hate going to the post office and doing the packaging and all that. It's not, it's not that bad. I'm actually starting to look into this. Um, it's an online based service called Pirate Ship. Yeah. Um, they they pick it up more or right. less. Oh, okay. You yeah. Schedule you can schedule pickups and what have you. I'm thinking right because my I'm not there with my card business yet. Yeah. You know, as far as having so many orders, like, oh, my God, how do I get them out? It's not like yeah. that. You know, I, I can actually maintain what I have. But when I th if, I, if I were to start fooling with these laptops, obviously, they're a lot bigger. They're a lot heavier. So, let's right. say an order of two or three could be a burden, you know. Right. I might actually look into a pirate ship to have scheduled pickups and what I've never heard of that service. 
Yeah, uh, okay. I, I, I briefly, have, I haven't looked into it myself. I've, I've heard, I heard about it through a couple of different sources. So I want to check into it, see what it, see what it is. Right. I think, cool. I think UPS also offers a service where they come pick it up at your door. Well, I know, like if I do a return from Amazon, they have to come pick it up. But obviously, they've got their own service. So, like I'm going to return those. Um, yeah. Let me see if I can find one of these. I mean, these were in just like lots of threes and lots of fives, but right. I was seeing on there like they had a pallet of like fifty of them, right? And you know, and the starting bid was like two hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah. I mean, you know, so I mean, and then um, that's another thing. While while we're still here on this page, I think it's all the same seller because I was really paying attention to it to make sure that it at least turned on and everything. Right. Yeah. This seller notes that you were looking at a lot of three laptops. They all boot to BIOS and pass right. the stress test. Yeah. So basically a lot of them, like I got a guy, a friend here, I have coffee with in the mornings. <coughs> He's retired, but as a side gig, he does eBay. And I think he has multiple accounts to keep his numbers down so that the IRS doesn't give him too much grief. Uh, but okay. he's a wheel and a dealer. He does like tens of thousands of dollars a year. Oh, so he buys a bulk then, what I'm trying to he, do. Well, he, he buys, basically he does a lot of um, vintage memorabilia. So he makes money when someone dies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. he's buying, bad when, when a, someone famous dies, if he's got some sort of garb, especially if it's got a, their signature, that's when he sells it. So he's uh he's got his business down pat. Yeah, man. right. No, no, he he made his career in sales. So yeah, he's retired, right? He lives in a fun house, and yeah. I'm, I just typed in a lot of a hundred laptops. Let me see. Yeah, what you're gonna find is a bunch of business models, like. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Like all these. Right. Yeah, those Optiplexes for like a hundred bucks, one hundred fifty bucks. Right. We look good on YouTube. You want to open up a window and just confirm your audio sounds good? I sa I think we sound good. Ooh, here's a good one right here. Yeah, actually, uh, let me do that. Give me a second. Yeah, here. just make sure. Um, I, here's something. Well, we had a good if phone it call. wasn't so old. What's that? I said I had a good phone call with Apple tech support one day, and then we didn't catch their side of the conversation because the audio was all messed up. Oh, so, that's right. I remember you telling me about that. Yeah, so I need to make sure that before we get too far into the conversation, then outsider hears both sides of the conversation reliably. Because I think I did that once with you, too. Oh, yep. You didn't get my audio. Right. That's the thing, man, about having your super set up. That's why I'm trying to keep it simple. Well, I, OBS is glitchy, and I think it commandeered the driver, and it wasn't capturing the audio from the phone reliably. Even though... The, the little bouncy meter was capturing your audio. The actual audio didn't project. I don't know what went, went on. I have blame. Even though the, the little bouncy meter. Good. I sound all right? Yeah, I can hear you, but Good. Yeah. my internet's really laggy. Oh, all capturing right. your audio. Actual I, audio I can, it sounds like I sound good for through you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Even though the, the little bouncy meter. Good. I sound all right? Yeah, I can hear you. But yep, there we go. We got, we got audio on both ways. Good, good. We just needed to make sure we can be heard properly. Because even if our video sucks, we can at least be listenable. Yeah, I got you. Uh, got you through the uh, super speaker. I got it. Right? Yeah, yeah. I've actually got, by the way, I've got an audio, what's it called? An, uh, an audio gate through my speakers. I, sp I plug my system. My audio engine plus, as you can see, that's what the uh, speakers are that I use here. That allows me to plug input and output through the mixer. Through the mixer? Yeah. I don't know if you want to go that route. But, well, yeah. It allows me to actually use these as monitors, too. So I get to hear everything that happens as an outsider. I don't know if that makes sense to you. But it has no. an input and out output on the back of the speaker. So I can run audio through the speakers. Not a big deal. No, that's all right. It's a little bit above my head. And no, it's all right. No, no, it's not because it's going to be beneficial to you. That's why they have audio mixers, speakers that are considered mixers, not speakers that are designed to be just pleasurably listened to. Well, like a pass-through audio type Yes, deal? yes, okay. yes. That's what these speakers okay, have. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
So okay, just Google you. Audio Engine 5 Plus and you'll see what I have hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, uh, both of our videos, which we're on, I'm on my iPhone, so of course. Yeah, I know. This, uh, doing the YouTube live like this is so much more convenient. It just makes things a little more reliable. Yeah, I, I like it this way, but if, it would be so much better if they would give us an option to do it on a computer. Yeah, one of us needs to be able to do this on a full computer. Yes. And they need to ma make it so that, like, obviously, a lot of podcasts have multiple people that are more than just two. Well, like I said, I think the cheat code is going to be is to do the web-based browser to where you can yeah. launch, you know, project or project your iPhone to right. the web. And then right. I think a Facebook FaceTime call yes. is probably going to be the ticket. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. For and because then we can respectfully put that in our own OBS. Yes. And go live on your own channel. Yes. Yeah, you're and already got we're, it. Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to try that on our next live stream. We'll All right. Yeah, later. we'll schedule a time to do it. Yeah, doesn't matter what we talk about. But yeah, yeah. just just a, just a test. But uh, right. but back to the, the whole uh, laptop thing. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking that's going to be a really good. I want to I want to start just to see if just to see if they'll sell. My thing is is that they're kind of older models, and I'd like to work my way into like at least seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth gen. You know, Intel. yeah. Well, because oh, that's right. I'm here at the office. Let me go get what I have here. Hold on. Just a second. Okay. All right. Here we are. Okay. So a customer got water damage on this machine. It is an XPS. So it's a like, XPS Dell or basically like Lincoln's art to Ford. So this is a... That's the plus model. Yeah, it's the one with the leather. Let's see here. Where's his service tag? Service tag. I don't know. Let's see. Service tag. The newer ones. So you can see. I guess I've always been a Dell guy. I think it's because of that the guy back in the commercial on Dell. The dude, you're getting a Dell guy. You remember him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so the service tag. Why don't you do this? Go to partspeople.com. Partspeople.com. Parts-people.com. I'll give you the service tag. Let me know when you're I ready. I gotta move my phone around the screen's way. I've been hesitant to actually selling this to anyone because I know the screen is bad, but I just want to make sure that since it's water damage, that nothing else is bad. Have you uh have you put an HDMI cable and tried to project it to a I'm pretty sure that display? won't work, but I haven't needed to because the screen actually functions. Oh, it's I'm, distorted. I, I, I can I can tell you if it boosts yeah. up, it will work. Yeah, well, not necessarily. So here we are. So I just turned it on. It's missing the SSD right now because the customer wanted his uh -huh. data. But the screen functions. It's just a distorted image. So there's lines down the side. Do you see that? That's why I know uh, it's a working machine. This whole screen yeah. needs to be swapped. Yeah, it works. Yeah. It just needs Screen swap. So I'll give you the service tag. You can see what it is. Okay. What is the service tag? Service tag is J is in Juliet. Uh, where was it? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I don't want to give away the uh, service tag on the air live. So I'm going to Facebook message it to you. Okay. Let's see here. Let's... I like copy and paste a lot better anyway. Yeah. Let's see here. I'm lazy. That's all right. Let's see here. Okay, so there we go. Okay. There we go. And what generation Intel is that? That's why I'm giving you the service tag so you can tell me what this is. I haven't even bothered to check. Ah, okay. I guess. So you. there you go. Take that service tag and do the search on uh, parts-people.com, and it'll tell you what it is. It'll pull up all the parts, including the cost for the screen replacement. So you can imagine I get hardware like this all the time. I'm not going to lie. This thing is 
pretty slow today. It's my internet. It's not right. Weird. Well, I might end up shipping you this. You give me something for this. You fl- you swap out that screen, and this thing's probably only two or three generations old. No kidding. Yeah. So, but obviously, to me, some one of us has to spend two hundred bucks on a screen, probably. Well, the thing is, they don't have a screen available for it. Oh, you found like the machine? A, yeah, it's a uh, Dell XPS 970. Right. Or 9,700. 9, okay, so if you go to the motherboard, what generation CPU does it say it has? Actually, type that gen, that uh, service tag into Dell's website. Just go do a uh, Dell and then click support, and that'll tell you exactly what it is. Or what chip it's sold with. Actually, parts of people might tell you. I don't know if it'll tell you what generation of CPU it's sold with. So it's missing an SSD and it needs a screen. I got an SSD for it. It's going to be an M2 uh, uh, SSD. One of the long, skinny long ones. One, yeah, right. I get an SSD for it. Yeah, because it's only a few years old compared to what you're screwing around with. Dell will. Dell did not pull up anything. Hold on, we got to figure out what CPU is in here. Um, well, just Google it. Ask ask Google. Just ask Google what generation chip that model is. Well, it could be anything. Just yeah. that's your model. Here, I'll do it. You two go to uh, go to. Uh, so that's an XPS. What is it? Nine. 9,700. Okay, XPS 9,700. What gen? Let's see here. 10th. I, I literally Googled that. It's a 10th gen- a chip with a 10th generation chip. What generation? 10th. I5? Yeah. Uh, no, it ships with an I7. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, this thing's only three years old. I said, yeah, there you go. I literally asked Google XPS 9700, what generation? And it says in plain language, 10th generation Intel, i7 released in tw- uh, 20, uh, 2020, uh, the 17 inch XPS 9700 laptop in Dell's XPS family comes with the latest technology, including DDR4 memory clocked at a whopping 3200 megahertz and a 10th generation six core i7. That's awesome. So I can send this to you. You can give me something for this. You yeah. knowing it needs an SSD and a screen, and now you got a machine that's a. Uh... Here, go to e- go to eBay and see what what they want with for this thing if it's in perfect condition. Perfect condition. Yeah. Uh, it's a three year old computer. Does that have a backlit keyboard? Yeah. Yes, it does. In fact, it still works. So, uh, yeah. He said he dumped a lot of water on it, but everything worked except that that screen's obviously damaged. It's a touchscreen too, by the way. Oh yeah. Yeah, and that that's where he got frustrated because he kept having to fight with it. <laughs> with the lines going down. Well, yep. no, not just no, because it was overtaking the mouse function. And it was oh, doing yeah. random clicks. Yeah. It was doing random clicks wherever. Yeah. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I love Google's upgrades because I was able to Google that question, and it gave me the technical specs for this machine. Oh, and it's got USB C, so you get the new USB. I know you don't have that. No, I don't have USB C. Right. So it's got four USB Cs. Why is eBay being dumb? It's acting like it can't find it. eBay? Yeah. Let me see what other details we have here. Eight more rows of details. Oh, I found one right here. Yeah. And perfect 
shape but a one terabyte SSD. Yeah. Um, nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. Okay, yeah, I found one. Oh, the link I was actually reading was an Amazon link. It's selling for thirteen seventy seven. So there you go. Yeah, that's definitely an upgrade. So for you, I mean, I'm talking about. Yeah, this would be an. I wonder what. Yeah, the screen's probably going to be two to three hundred dollars. I bet. Well, I was just on parts per. They actually don't even have a screen. Do they, they have, have the, the part L available? Is the no, part they available? have the LCD back cover. They have. The LCD back cover and the hinge. That's so it. the screen, yeah. So this machine probably, they just don't have that part. Well, go to Google and get the part uh, for the screen, because that's really the biggest hang up with this machine. Yeah, this machine still in perfect condition is worth a grand. Nice, but yeah, you'd be surprised. I get stuff left with me that's worth something all the time. And Dell's website doesn't really have a retail outlet. I mean, they'll sell you hardware, but you got to call them up. Oh, shit. That's expensive. What? The screen. Yeah. But like you said, you could use this as a desktop if you got a desktop monitor. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I would do with it, too. <laughs> well, how much is it? Or where'd you find one? Uh, Amazon's first one I found. How much? <sighs> $486. Not surprised because it's a bigger screen and it's a touch screen. Good Lord almighty. That's expensive. Yeah. So three-year-old computer right here. Left for good for basically it was a total loss if it were a crashed car. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically half the value of that thing. Technically. I had a, my mom had a laptop. My mom had a, uh, what was it? I think it was a Toshiba. Yeah. Was it HP or a Toge fail? It was one of them. I can't remember. And uh, somehow the screen, I think the dog ended up stepping on it, cracked right. the screen on it. Right. Well, I uh, I used it for the longest time. Right. At just the desktop with the right. HDMI cable. And then I got the bright idea one time that, uh, oh, well, I'll just take the whole top off of it. Right. And while it worked, it uh -huh. did work. But my dumb ass, when I took the top off of it, um, I couldn't, it, it wouldn't natively turn on with HDMI anymore because it, yeah. it didn't sense the, the settings or whatever. Right. And then all I had, to, I can't remember exactly what all I had to do is, but it literally come down to, I couldn't see cause I had no screen to go into the boot menu in the end right. is what it comes down to. Right. But you so had, I did, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So had no, I did that ahead. beforehand, yeah. I could have, I could have just pretty much just had a, a base. That was it. Right. You know. Right. I don't know if there's a way to do that with that one. Because you have to trick the system. Because when you disconnect the cable, it thinks it's closed, you see. Well, you right. But the thing is, you could tell the thing. No, oh, yeah, with the cable. Yeah. But, but you could easily tell Windows that it doesn't know that it. Or exactly. To ignore the fact that it's closed. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I forgot to do. So, right. and I yeah. just couldn't get back to the so settings. The way, the way you get an external um, setup is that you basically go straight from USB C to HDMI. See, so like with one of these adapters here, um, one of these here. This is a dock. It's got the USB C, it's got more USB C, right. then it's got a pass through for HDMI. HDMI. And also <laughs> Ethernet. So it's a whole dock. And the old USB A for our more traditional hardware. Well, the funky thing is, is even if I put an SSD in it, obviously previous customer already had problems with control over it because the touchscreen is fighting him. Right. So the screen would have to come out. Right. You just physically unplug it. Right. Yeah. Just physically. I right. wonder if it and would still work. The funny thing work. is you can't, what you cannot do, and I have tried in the past, you can't go to the device manager and disable the driver. It just doesn't work. Really? Yeah, so if you want, I've thought of that when other when hardware was being troublesome, you can't go and just disable the driver that powers that hardware. It's annoying. Well, you can go to the BIOS. Yeah, but I, there's the no the BIOS isn't going to allow you to turn off the screen. Now for a oh, desktop, yeah. you can disable the in internal controller if for integrated graphics, but you can't go into the BIOS of the laptop and turn off the monitor support. You can't turn off the built-in display. Right. There's just nothing there. Right. Right. So I wonder if you can get a custom BIOS for that though. Uh you know what? 
Um, that might be something you have to look into the dark side for, but I think it might be possible. Well, you wouldn't necessarily need to. Oh, you know what? You could probably do disable the touch function and still not disable oh, you the driver. Definitely disable the touch pin function for sure. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure where you would find that because it's not turn off tablet separate. mode. This thing actually, I think, is designed. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'd have to play with it. Um, Throw that SSD driver. in and fire it up. Yeah, it fires up fine. Yeah, you got an extra SSD laying around? Uh, not an SSD. That's a uh, M2. Let me think. I know this thing works because we were able to boot it to grab his data. We just had to fight the mouse. Yeah. Right. Um, or if you had a flash drive, you can get it to boot uh, Windows. Oh, yeah, off yeah. Flash I know drive. that'll work. Watch here. I can boot. Watch. I'll show you boot to the. Um, I'll show you. We'll boot now. Let's see here. Yeah, right now it says drive not installed. Do you see? Oh, wait, hold on. You can't see that. There. Oh, the Lego is probably backwards because it's got the uh, weird camera. So you can tell right now the screen is right. uh, the uh, LCD is missing or the SSD is missing. Um, so let's go ahead and, oh, I need my adapter because my copy of Windows is on a USB A drive. USB A? Uh, yep. uh, let's See, not like me, ancient dinosaur. Where might I find a USB? Oh, there's one right here. Oh, that's USB. Oh, that's Windows 11, but that'll work. Okay, so let's just see if this boots. It would be nice to start buying like laptops like these and souping them all the way up. And then right. Them. I could just like what I'd love to do is I'd ship you this thing. You used to so buy it off me as a whole. I'll sell it to you for wholesale. You sell it retail. Yeah, with repair. That's that screen. That, yeah, I make a few bucks not, for the it's hardware. It's not the screen price that gets me. It's the, it's the buy the screen, put it in, and it doesn't yeah. work for some reason. That's that's the part that. Gets well, me. I can walk you through. I mean, I could do over the air training. I did warranty repair for Dell for three years, and uh, it's not a difficult repair to replace this thing. It's two hinges. That's it. Yeah, in fact, I could technically do it on the air. I could do that for you. Um, not do the work, but I mean, I'll, I could technically remove the screen for you on the air and then send you the YouTube video. Yeah. Okay. So this is what happens or how it behaves with a USB copy of, uh, 11 installed, but there's no SSD. So when oh, it does, gonna... have a, does, that, it does, does the, uh, the backlit keyboard, is it just solid white or does it have RGB? No, it doesn't do, because it's not really, these XBSs are, uh, more, um, prim and proper they're not for gamers they're for people that just business. want a good business machine or something yeah, business. yeah so they don't do the rgb stuff okay yeah. hold on let me do this i gotta control I'll delete okay so i'm gonna enter. yeah so it's a good business person's machine okay f12 so i'm hitting F12. what kind of uh, what kind of onboard graphics does it have oh uh, you're google it i forgot let's see yeah here. Uh, i'll do that Okay. I think I've already got a photo of Google. Device configuration. So F12 boot. I don't think this thing's going to let me go any farther without a drive installed. Let's see here. Nope, without a drive missing, it doesn't want to let me, uh, it's just giving me error code because normal people don't use a computer without an installed drive, yep. Right, and I don't have one laying around. Let's see here. I might actually, but up, no, I haven't kept track of one, I know. Let's see, F12, 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 preparing one-time boot. Nope, it goes straight to the BIOS when it should give me a choice of drives to boot from. So... That is ultimately our, our hang up right now. Plus your screen is bad. It says it's got an Intel Intel UHD graphics six thirty. There you go. Tenth generation Intel core. That that uh that particular laptop yeah. Probably, though, it could be an i9 because it comes in an i9 flavor as well. No, it's a, uh, uh, I'm trying to see. Boot device configuration. Let's see here. 
Let's see. She came in I I five I seven and I nine being top O V line. Intel Rapid Storage Technology RAM Disk TLS. No. Uh, BIOS. Oh, let's go into the BIOS setup. Okay, there we go. Manufactured. I can tell you it was manufactured March 4, 2021. So it's actually newer. This thing sat on a shelf for a year. Yep. Uh, let's see here. No, it's an i7. It's I the 10, so by the way, it's the i7 10875H CPU running at 2.3 gigahertz. Okay. Eight gigs of RAM. Not much. Kind of a small amount of RAM for a later model machine. Can it be upgraded? Yes. I saw the end spot. Yep. Probably 32 gigs. Maybe 64. That's what I'm getting ready to ask. That, that's, a big, that's a big upgrade. It probably goes to 64 gigs. I wouldn't be surprised. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, battery health, by the way. The BIOS is telling me the battery's healthy. Oh. Yeah. So... That's kind of a new feature. Not all BIOSes will tell you that. So there we go. I just, I wonder what it can do gaming wise. I wonder if it can run Fallout 4. Well, do some research on that chip that's installed. The video card's going to be your biggest hangup. Yeah. Well, and, I and then also now eight gigs of RAM. My, my current PC runs Fallout 4 on super low settings. It's very choppy and totally unplayable, but it still right. boosts it. Well, you're, you're going to get several generations on this. Mm -hmm. so I'm thinking, I mean, so yeah, you can will. either keep this for your desk machine or you can resell it as a retail product. I think I would probably keep it as a desk machine just because I don't know if I would ever go balls to the wall and spend $500 on a screen. Got it. Yeah. 500 bucks. I can literally build a budget gaming desktop. PC, yes, you can. You know I mean? That's correct. <laughs> so. Yeah. This customer just said, screw it. I don't want to screw around with it. He went out and bought a new machine locally. Well, I need to know where this guy works because I need to start working where he's at to get that kind of money just to <laughs> say fuck it. Just to say fuck it on a five fifteen hundred dollar laptop. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm doing something wrong apparently. I need to talk to somebody. Yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Processor ID is a zero six five two. Yeah, that actually has the uh, latest Wi Fi, Wi Fi six in it. Right. Yep. Yeah. Wow, that's 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 brand new. So it's definitely one of the, of the so go to, go to eBay and see what one that's been damaged sells for. Oh, like a, a non-working unit. Yeah. Okay. eBay. Go on XPS nine seventy. That's why it's so expensive because it's a UHD 4K touchscreen. Yep. Display. Yeah. I'm not seeing any damaged ones. You just did a search for the uh, XPS 179700. Yep. And none of them are showing up. Yes. XPS i7. No, they're probably still too new to really have an abundance of broken ones. You know what that's I mean? That's exactly that's exactly what um, parts people's uh, issue is. Uh, if machines are too new, it takes them two years to get a supply. Because right now, uh, you can warranty protect a Dell for up to five years. So Dell needs to be able to uh, accommodate that before they'll sell a provider like parts people their own hardware. So anyone who breaks their machine and is un under warranty, Dell needs to be able to cover that warranty. So they need to make sure they have enough hardware on hand. Well, here is about the closest thing that I'm finding. Here's a here's a Dell XPS 4K touch gaming laptop, Intel i7 yeah. 7, 7, 7700. Right. 
and it's a 32 gigabyte RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD, has a GTX 1050 graphics card in it. Yeah. And they're asking $202. The, the current bid is $202.50. All right. So it's in perfect working condition, but it's a, it's a 770, though, so it's not a 970. Right. But I feel like this is actually like a gaming PC because it's got a straight-up GTX 1050 in it. Yeah, so you know what this conversation is turning into? It's almost like the... Uh... What's that? Those guys in the desert out in Las Vegas. So you get the uh, the pawn shop. Oh, pawn stars. Yeah, pawn stars. We could talk about. We could do wheel and deal and live on YouTube, and everyone could eavesdrop on our dealings. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I, I, well, let me see if I can find something else in comparison. But I'm, that way, the cool thing is, everyone knows everyone's getting a fair deal because it's all out in the open. So. Oh yeah. I'm thinking the problem that we're running into is these are just way too new models for us right. to really kind of go on used prices. Right. But as far as the deal, that's that's a bid here. Let me pull this up. That's actually a bid. So for all we know, this. Oh, right. It could go up. Right. So it doesn't have a buy down. Huh? It still has a four day, three hour bid like that. That thing could shoot up to a thousand dollars for all we know. Right. So there's just nothing to really compare that to as far as damage broken not working right condition yeah because i'm not seeing like here's a lot of five dell xps 13 9 93 50s uh intel i5 uh six and seven generation four gigabytes which these are obviously way older Damn, they only want 152 bucks for all five of them, though. What's wrong with them? Uh, I don't know, but I'm definitely uh, looking at them. Right. Laptops have been cleaned and tested. Please see detailed item description for issues with each one. So they're Intel Core i5, 6th and 7th generations. Ooh, my phone's got 10% battery life left. Uh oh, you don't have your, your cable with you, huh? And I'm telling you, I need to break down. Yeah, the no, the other, get a portable USB battery. That's what I do because that way I don't have to be next to a wall or have some. Or that too. What? I'm just I'm such a cheap bastard. It's not even really that I'm a cheap bastard. Is I got too many hobbies. Well, you, you got a family to raise too. So. Well, that you know that too. Yeah. And it just it makes it. Right. It makes it hard to buy stupid knickknacks when you don't need them. You know what I mean? Right. Like when I buy my gadgets, they're making me money. Right, because I got a shop. I, I've just always been that that way with money. I always ask myself, do I really right. need it? Because what I have, yeah, works. I can justify so replacing my iPhone every three or four years. Yeah, right. Well, I actually I upgrade every year, but that's part of the upgrade plan. You know, if I well, didn't get it, it, I would. <laughs> right. Oh, right. Yeah. No, I pay cash. Well, I finance it, but you get my point. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I do the same thing. Yeah, I mean, after I give it's you financed, I wait a few more months and then I get it. And this time, I'm waiting for USB-C, so Apple's not getting me to buy another iPhone until I get USB-C. So, so we all know they're going that route. I'm not going to replace my iPhone 12 Pro until I get USB-C availability. USB-C. Yeah, because we all know they're going to do it. I'm done with the lightning connector. You broke up. You there? So... I say you, you think that we're going to get the USB-C? Not necessarily the exact. Uh, technically, legally, they're kind of been pigeonholed or they've been uh, forced into it by the European Union. They're, the Europeans, they're basically saying all the handheld hardware is legally required to use USB-C. I think Apple's always going to retain the lightning port just to be out. They might. But, yeah, that's the thing. The reason the lightning port was invented is because they're getting $4 for everyone manufactured. As oh, licensing. Yeah. Because yeah. you have to buy. Yes. USB-C is a superior connector. <laughs> it's faster. It's more reliable. It has all sorts of throughput. Or, uh, uh, they look legit. Like significant wear in some keys and touchpad. LCD hinges loose while open. Right. Keyboards are cheap, especially for Dell. Adhesive residue on bottom cover, dents in back two corners on one of them. 
some standing on left side of keyboard, minor scratch. A lot of them just has a loose hand. Right. Yeah. And most of that stuff is easily replaceable. This one being probably the worst. Service tag sticker on. Small bright spot detect and screen near lower right corner. Significant width. A couple of them might need a keyboard replacement. Right. Now, these are Dell XPS 13960s. Yeah. So let me do a Google search on that. Yeah, I kind of... I really hope I score that lot that lot deal for just twenty bucks. That'd be great because I'll yeah. straight up put one hundred and eighty bucks between all three of them, and I know I can get rid of them for one hundred and seventy five a piece, and they'll be nice quality little rigs for somebody too. Right. Well, if you were to buy this Dell XPS thirteen nine ninety three sixty, yeah, on Amazon right now. It's nine hundred and forty nine dollars. Lovely. And yeah, the one I guess the tech specs a little different, but the one I found on Amazon is thirteen seventy seven sixty four. With a five hundred and twelve gig of RAM. Oh, sixteen gigs of RAM and five hundred and twelve gigs SSD. I said this one's just got uh this one's just got eight gigabytes of RAM and hundred and twenty eight gigabyte M point two SSD. Got it. No, yeah, so there we are. But remember, uh this is a lot of five of them, and the current bid is $152 right now. Got 23 right. bids. Got it. Should I make a bid? Uh, yeah. I mean, a bid is not a commitment. If you're very comfortable with making a price at that, then you don't have to worry about being committed. Well, I haven't done any research on these. Like, I know my own personal computer. What well, the that's the other thing. For. So when you're buying computer hardware, you can go to benchmark websites. And see how a particular machine benchmarks. I think I sent you a link yesterday on a website for benchmarking. Yeah, you did. You can just give it a model of a computer. It'll tell you how it'll perform. Well, like I said, I know a couple of these are going to need some hinge work. Actually, yeah. four out of five of these are going to need hinge work. All right. And a couple of them are definitely going to need a keyboard replacement. Cool. Keyboards on app on uh, Dells are usually pretty cheap. Oh, no batteries. None of them have batteries. There you go. So go to parts-people.com to source yep. how much it's going to cost. Oh, yeah. And by the way, that's a nice healthy place to get a battery because it's easy Park, to buy that knockoff batteries anywhere else. So assuming that these batteries are less than 40 bucks. Well, that's how, uh, yeah, usually a battery from parts people is around 100, regardless of the model. Oh, I see this. 13, 30, 60. Oh, that's the service tag. I don't have a service tag. Service tag for which machine? Oh, you don't have the service tag for the uh, model? Uh, that's like the VIN for a Dell. Right, yeah, I noticed that. Uh, let me see what they go on for Amazon. Surely Amazon's got replacements. Dell XPS 13. 9360 battery, first result popped up. And they are $47, $38, $42, $66, $65, $70, $80, $90, $95, $100, $110, $120. So, oh, $19.99. I'll straight up put $20 batteries in them bitches. Yep. Oh, snap, man. So I'm doing some math here. So five batteries at 120 bucks. I wish I had a buy it now option. Yeah, I, I generally, I when I'm buying whatever stuff on eBay, if it doesn't do I, uh, buy it now, I don't bother. Bother. If I'm happy no. to pay in the buy it now cost, then that's what they're getting. But I'm not going to sit there because I either want it or I don't. I'm not going to sit there and pretend I uh, 
I'm gonna spend a way more than I want to for it. Yeah, this is a, this is an auction only. Right. I mean, if I win, I'd be tickled to death. Right. That's why if you do a bid, that's fine. If you know you're already paying less than what you're willing to spend, then just sit on it. And wait for someone else to outbid it. What do you think? The bid's currently at 152. You think I should put in a bid for 200? For which machine? Give me the specs again. Uh, it's this one right here. It's all five. That's a lot of five. A lot of five, yes. For two hundred dollars, you're still getting a good junk of hardware because you could technically. So, so here's the thing: if you could even only get one working machine out of all that hardware, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to get maybe two at least. Even if so, it's just like a car. Uh, a Toyota Corolla new is fifteen grand. Obviously, if you part it out, you're going to make many times that, right? Right. So you can do the same thing with the computer. You can sell out the screen, just like we're looking for the. That's why there's a market for a screen for this machine right here. That's the same thing. These are 13 inches, so it's the same size as this laptop too. So, so they're yeah, little. It's a little one, yeah. That's fine. Well, in my opinion, I think the little, the more portable style laptops, they sell a lot faster. Well, they're more. Yeah, they're less expensive. They're cheaper. Um, and they're a little more, un, less less unwieldy. They're more, yeah, yeah. They're deal. The, the big ones are just bulky. That's part of the problem. They're yeah, the smaller ones are not necessarily more reliable, but people are uh, <coughs> less likely to buy a big gaming rig. A big gaming rig is more reliable because it's built better. Because they're they're uh, they're heftier because they have to they're be cooled poor. better. But yeah, they're not portable by any means. No. The only thing that kind of concerns me here is it's not really the price. It's anything. It's it's still kind of old. It's sixth and seventh generation Intel, whereas I'm only in fourth generation myself. Right. Yeah. But but it's not a significant upgrade like that when it's in your hand right now. Right. But I'm with you. Even if I'm I'm assuming I can get all five machines, not only working but fully upgraded. So, right. Yeah. Even if one of them is only bad, you still get, you're going to be able to make your money back on it. Yeah. I'm going to play some bid. Good. It's only got 23 hours left. So I'm going I'm to monitor it real close. All right. Oh, man, I just bought a new uh, networking switch for the office. And the paint is filled into the holes, so I can't, this bracket doesn't want to go in properly. Uh, it's annoying. So I got a uh, a mount, a rack mount, specifically like a corporate sort of mount. That's what these little wings are for. To get rid of my, uh, my catastrophe of uh, cables over there in the corner. So that right. they're more precise or more uh professional i told you man wire management yeah well it's starting to bug me with these cables strewn across the whole office so oh that was good you know what i didn't even pay attention to that but it, it's free shipping i yeah, probably should have looked to see how much shipping was oh yeah yeah you don't want to get stuck overpaying for shipping yeah i almost did because i didn't even pay attention to that but it's free shipping so i put in a bid for 250 bucks I am the current winner at one hundred and fifty-four fifty. Cool, and then you can program so, it to go like so. You're, so so two hundred and fifty is my max. There you Anything go. More so than that. You, you can program that. Did you do that so that it'll automatically? Yeah. Automatically yeah. bid for me. Yeah. Good. Yeah, two hundred and fifty is my max. If it goes over that, somebody else could have it. Good. Yeah. Yeah, because you can also just part out each of those screens for whomever needs a screen for that model. Yeah, I'm hoping it doesn't come down to that. I'm hoping I buy five new batteries and five new SSDs, and I got five working computers. Yep, 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 yep. So what are you going to charge me for the one you got? Because I'd like to have a personal rig myself. Uh, what do you think? Um, maybe 400? 400? Yeah. It needs an SSD, and we know that screen's going to cost you 400. Well, the screen's going to cost me five. It's 486. Oh, all right. I heard you say you do, four something. You take, you take three on it? I'll tell you what. Uh, 
You do 200 in my steering wheel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. 200 with the okay. steering wheel. All right. All right. And no one no one watching this knows what we're talking about. No. Nope. <laughs> sure don't. <laughs> they sure don't. Yeah, I'll do, I do 200 bucks in the steering wheel. I can live with that. Cool. So, um, Facebook me the uh, your address. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Yeah, then you can Venmo me, or I don't know how you want to get me paid, or whatever. Uh, PayPal is what I do. All right, cool. Yeah, PayPal. You have my address for PayPal? Uh, no, you need to send me your I'll link. Send, I'll send it to you, yeah. God, this screw is really giving me poop. Oh, my goodness. I cannot... Yeah, I think they just put enough paint on those tines to where the, uh, the threads just are... Oh, my God, all four of them are just... It's I'll cool. tell you. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, if I win this bid for this uh, on any of these lots, what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to buy one battery and one SSD. Yeah. And test them all out. Yeah. Get a good battery. get a good SSD, Samsung. Uh, yeah. That's just my go-to brand. There's other good brands. I just tend not to I've deviate. Had but good, I've had nothing but good luck with Western Digital so far. But all I'm right. Not I wouldn't well, mind to check another brand I've had a couple out. bad ones, but I do a lot more. You can imagine I do a lot more volume than you. Uh, you right. realize the colored of uh, logos means something. The black is supposed to be like the better uh, branded. So like even Samsung, they got the black brand. And there's the red one for the servers or the NASs. The blue ones are like the ones that ship in an OEM machine. And then you got the Econo ones, which are green. So like if you're right. buying it. So if you go get a Western Digital whiz bang drive, pay attention to the color. That's what you're paying for. Yeah, I got a blue one. Yeah, okay. So that's the OEM one. It probably has a lesser warranty than the black one. Okay. No, that's that's comes five year warranty. Five years. It does. Okay. Well, maybe they're not technically warranted the same, but I, basically the black is supposed to be a faster, a more right. Um, it was like a, a police interceptor version of the Crown Vic versus the civilian one. Some of the parts are uh, upgraded. Duped up. Yeah, but you don't really get that much more power. Well, what I'm going to do, let's, uh, I put in a $250 bid for that. I, I'm pretty confident I'm going to win this. All right, yeah. It's got it's got 23 hours and 42 minutes Okay, left. so you only have a day. Got it. I was just about okay. to ask you that. How many more days do you have on it? I tell you what, if it comes down to the nitty gritty and we go head to head, I might up the ante to two seventy five. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see. Um, let me. Uh, let's. I've already got this pulled up. Um, let's check it out. Someone just made a comment on my. Uh, I didn't quite read it. Someone commented on my Twitter because this live. I think this link went live on on Twitter also. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can yeah. Uh, you can definitely uh, stream and uh, stream on multiple platforms. Yeah, yeah, that's why I had it set. But I thought my Twitter link was broken on OBS. I thought that I'm not sure. I'll have to look at it. I just saw it, South Bay Tech Gurus, and then someone commented, but I didn't read it. But anyway, yeah. I want to see how upgradable these are. I probably should have done that from the get go. Well, the SSDs and the RAM for one. I want to see how much RAM it could take. Oh, it's either going to be 32 or 64. Thirteen. What was it? A 93, 93, 9700. No, this one here. Oh, I was talking about the, the lot of oh. five I just bid on. God, I cannot get this. This is so stupid. This one little stupid screw. A carpenter would have better luck with this thing than I. All right, for the Dell XPS, Crucial currently does not have any compatible memory upgrades. For what? For, oh, for, for that your particular system. For which, uh, which, which DDR is it? Is it three or four? Ooh, it's eight, it's eight gigabytes or 16 gigabytes, non-removable. Oh, that's, ah, ah, there's your caveat. All right. So it's less upgradable. That's okay. That's your catch. That's why. 
All right. That's unusual. Most RAM is replaceable. I knew with Apple, they don't have an allowed RAM to be upgradable, but for a PC, that's not very common. That's what makes the machine less expensive. Yeah, in the listing, it says they're fourth, uh, four gigabyte RAMs. There's no way because they either come in eight or 16. Right. So I'm thinking maybe Crucial is wrong? Uh, no. Crucial's pre I don't know, think Crucial, Crucial's ever screwed me. They've all, that's why I send my customers to Crucial, because when they say they want a RAM upgrade, I just tell them to go to Crucial and do the little system scanner, and it scans their machine, and they can't go wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me uh, go down to the uh, description a little bit better. These threads are just mangled, I guess. Yeah, it says the uh, the RAM is four gigabytes integrated. That's not much RAM. Nope, sure isn't. That's basically the minimum. I think technically you can install Windows 10 on two. So what you're going to end up selling these things is like internet web browsers or uh, Netflix watchers. Yeah, little streaming devices. Yeah. I'm sure it will still play retro games. It's just you're not going to play them on ultra settings or nothing. But Yeah, what generation again are we speaking of? Uh, it's six and seven generation. Okay, so it'll run like Fallout 3 and New Vegas fine. But yeah, you're All not right. running Fallout 4. Right. So um, I still feel like I can get about $130, $140 a piece out of them. So I'll make my well, money. Regardless. If you're buying an unfinished product and you're selling a finished product, you'll make something. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I'm still comfortable even if even if I spend all 250 on it, which I'm hoping somebody kind of taps out around the $200 mark. Yeah. So I, I think I retract my statement. 250 is my max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it, well, it's still, I, well, still a good enough deal to where I'm definitely not going to lose. That speaks volumes. Two gigs or four gigs of RAM is a big limitation, especially these days where yeah. Windows 10 or 11 are fairly bloated. I need to I need to start making a Bible of do's and don'ts. So right. from, from here on moving here, on, let, let this be my first mistake, lesson learned. Don't buy something that's not fully upgradable. Right. Well, or just know what you're buying. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you get a good deal on something that's super cheap because of the way it's built, then it still might be worth something if it's a cheap price. Right. Like, if you buy it, so I can tell you right now, <coughs> Dell keyboards are very cheap, and they're very easy to replace. So if you buy a computer where that is the problem, you already know that you're only going to spend thirty or forty dollars. Forty bucks, yeah. Yeah, and you're not paying any labor because you are the labor. I am the labor, right? Exactly, right. Yeah, I've been doing this for a couple months now, and I know that you can make some decent money into it. Right, but of course, yeah, like me, the overhead of having to go to a shop or a, the post office box just makes me want to ache. I, I hate it. Yeah, I don't want to fix anybody's shit. I just want to build my own shit and sell it. Right. Right. No, I like fixing shit. I get a labor cost on that. Yeah. And I guess yeah. technically, I, I don't, I as a regular shop, I don't want people coming back to me in a month because their used or refurbished thing failed. Right. Yeah. Why well, do you, uh, do, do you do what I'm trying to do too? Do you buy any on the side? And I haven't really tried that. Too? No, because I'm always afraid. That's why I've kept this thing. Like doing this thing, I'm fairly confident at this point. This thing isn't going to bite me in the butt. The issue is that the screen is bad. Right. Yeah. But when the customer dropped it off to me, he said, here, you can refurb this. I'm thinking, I don't know. I got to make sure. You said you dumped water on this thing. I don't know what other water damage there is other than the screen. So I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. I see so what you it's, mean. It's well, that's what I was saying. Uh, uh, yeah. If you wanted to uh, like go in half with me on some of these deals and, uh, Sure. We'll, we'll buy the lot, do the repairs, and uh, if you wanted to sell them out of your shop and offer like a uh, a, a, a a generous warranty on it to where 
it's something because yeah. they are used models, obviously. Right. So let's say something happens and a couple months later or a month or whatever the warranty is, it would be a no. Did your phone just die? <laughs> Uh-oh. Did your phone die? I think you lost your phone. Anyway, this is Chris, the South Bay Tech Guru, talking to my friend Patrick, uh, my motorhome friend geek. Uh, I think his phone died because he did say he was down to his last 10%. So if this is the sort of conversation you like to watch, show up here live randomly. Uh, if I'm not on the phone, you can give me a call at 855-434-8787. If you don't call me while I'm live, that is a recorded call. I will possibly take it in live. I will take it and broadcast it live here on YouTube at South Bay Tech Gurus. Have a good rest of your day. Have a good rest of your weekend and bye for now.